So with the camera, we're going to look at the auto scene mode. So this is fully automatic. And what that means is on the top of the camera, the little dial, you spin it around to auto, which is a green one there. Just with that little white mark, that means it's automatic. What that allows you to do is the camera will make all the decisions. So if you're totally new and you just want to start taking photos and videos, that's probably where you want to start. There are more detailed modes in the camera where you can specifically choose things. We'll cover that in later subjects. So first up on the first menu, we've got three little menus when we're in the automatic function. As you change these, you actually get more menus in the camera. So first up, let's go to the first one, the movie record size. So this camera allows you to record in full HD, 1080p. So that basically means 1920 by 1080 at 25 frames a second. Now, you can say you want to go full HD at 50 frames a second. You simply select it. HD is just 720p video. That's 50 frames a second. There is a record limit, which you can see max recording time. So at 1080p, it's going to record in 29.50, so about 30 minutes, basically. And continuing on that, you've got full HD at 25. You've got, wait a minute, what's the difference between that 25 and that 25? Movie rec size, you have two 25 frames a second. That is not going to help you at all, is it? 1920, 1080, 25. 1920. That's the same, isn't it? What firmware am I on? That'd be interesting. We'll have a look. So full HD, 50 frames a second, and then you've got 4K at 25 frames a second. So that is going to be a cropped video. So it's not going to be a full 4K. It actually crops in a little bit on this camera. So if you're looking for a full frame 4K camera, you want to look at a different camera. And that, yeah, that, that's something to think about. But if you already got it, you're fine. So that's those recording options there. Let's, and also you'll notice it's 4K. It records in 16 minutes and 45 seconds, like a really odd number for some reason. So about 16 and a half minutes you can record in 4K. So you're loving it if you want to do that. Uh, if you're doing vlogging type videos and short clips, that should be perfectly adequate. It's okay. And where else are we going to go next? So let's go back. So we do set. Okay. We'll do 4K for now. Uh, digital zoom, you can disable or enable. I disabled it because I'm more of a optical zoom person. Digital zoom is basically going to go in camera. It zooms into the picture that you've taken. So it's going to degrade image quality, basically. Sound recording is basically recording your microphone. I have that as on. Movie digital image stabilization is what this stands for. So you're doing handheld video. There's a few options here. You can have it disabled, which is off. You can have it enabled and you can have it enhanced. So when you do opt for image stabilization, again, the video will basically zoom in a little bit to counteract that feature because uh, you're going to be getting image stabilization. So that is a good option if you're hand holding and you've got a wide lens. Not bad. OK, so that's the first menu sorted out. Second menu, time-lapse movie is an option which is available when you're not plugged in via HDMI, which I am plugged in at the moment showing you the menus. And what that does is it makes a time-lapse in camera for you of, and say, for example, the clouds. So if you put it in a spot, it'll take a picture every three seconds for 20 minutes. It'll compile them all together, make a video clip of the clouds like looking very nice. You can have it for traffic, you can have it for busy crowds, that kind of thing for an effect in a vlog or something. Remote control, you can disable or enable that. It allows you to remotely control the camera via, so if I show you, give me that. well, it won't give me the extra menus on there, but it allows you to plug in and have your own camera button, basically, remote control. Um, video snapshot, that is designed to make lots of different fast clips, like a highlight reel, you could call it. It puts it in different albums. If you're going on holiday, you can use that to make lots of little clips of how the day is going. So that might be an option for you. And number three menu, we've got the methods for autofocusing. I have plugged it in via HDMI. There's a few autofocusing modes. We'll look at those one, one by one.